Yeah. So one of the things that I'd like to talk about real quick is the difference between having a marijuana pipe like this one or like this one and having a fancy wine glass like this one. The difference between having a glass marijuana pipe and a wine glass is how much the government respects your rights to your property or your rights to own your property because you can have this in any state in America and the police won't take it away from you. But if you have a marijuana pipe like this glass pipe, this pipe could cost 30 or 40 dollars, this one would be 50 to 100, and this pipe would be 150 or even 200 dollars depending on where you bought it. Even in California with a medical marijuana prescription, in some cases the police could take this pipe away from you and never give it back, like they did with one of my medical marijuana grinders. They took it away from me and they never gave it back. So even though you can buy them both legally in the store or on the internet, the difference between having a wine glass and having a marijuana pipe is how much the government respects your rights to own your property. And whether or not they can just come along and take it away from you one day and never give it back or compensate you for it. A lot of marijuana smokers have had the experience of having a really nice pipe confiscated by the police and never getting it back. Some of these pipes cost hundreds of dollars, some even cost thousands of dollars. For example, the Volcano cost about five or six hundred dollars, depending on where you buy it. So even though alcohol is far more dangerous than marijuana, the government respects your right to own this, which I would call alcohol paraphernalia, and they don't respect your right to own this, which they would call marijuana paraphernalia. And some of these pipes could have quite a bit of sentimental value. The pipe might be someone's prized possession, and then the police take it away from them. Or even take them to jail for having it. A pipe like this might be someone's favorite pipe that they spent more than $100 on, they've used every day for years, and then one day they don't have it anymore. And that's one way that the war on drugs destroys our rights. By giving more rights to the users of one drug than another drug. The war on drugs has also given corporations more rights than people. For example, look at opium. People have grown opium for thousands of years, but now only corporations have the rights to develop and sell opiate medications. People can no longer grow and produce them on their own, at least not legally.